right, so we're going to have some bow Three, and spear two, here against one, great sword ball. and sword. Here we go. All right. Let's see how, okay. Skeldra getting the great sword immediately and starting with the anti airs that were so effective against Acto uh, in the last set. Ooh. Yeah, the one big difference that I've seen from Skeldra and everybody else that's played today, it's not even a great sword specific, is that he really does like to mix weapon throws in just for like that extra bit of, 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 of discomfort almost, it feels like. There's not too much that he gets off of it, but he mixes it into his strings when he can't get anything else. Yeah. And I'm liking how both of them are playing right now. Oh, yeah, it is elimination finals. Read it seriously. Play, play safe. <laughs> yeah, and Agno is really definitely holding onto the center stage. Grand Castle down lights, uh, gets the spin there. The landing dare does connect, and the weapon throw comes forward, but Skeleton mm -hmm. doesn't follow after it. Oh, that's yep. why. He's yep. in D-Light recovery zone. Uh-oh, <laughs> Kaya, high defense, Apocalypse. He's probably going, wait, that didn't knock out. What do I do? There we go. Hits it again. The second one will. Skeldra's so good at finding that confirm. And then goes right back to juggling the weapons, denies the spawn as long as possible. Ace back over to that great sword. Bow picked up, gets punished by a downlight, and only a dare comes through. Skeldra gets even more with that end light finisher. Oh my god. I, I like that uh, attempt to get out of the combo there from Akno. Oh, spawn touch is past the sync. Okay, Skeldra's oh. kind of hard to hit. I mean, yeah. Akno's finding the, uh, the bow down airs. But other than that, uh, yeah. nothing that's going to be actually confirming into a knockout. Picks up with the ground pound. Spot dodges the weapon throw, cancels the spot dodge into a down light, gets the side air, and Acto finds himself off stage, oh getting edge guarded by Skeldra, who's still on his first stock, and now he's in red. Oh, D Light Nair finally connects, but it's not gonna knock no out. No way. That should do it. Yeah. He has a down air into a dodge. Okay. He touched the wall, but the pogo will take him yeah. down. Lots of damage coming out from that bow, but we're seeing one of their weaknesses, just that inability to get the kills. <laughs> Punch the few, the one of the few times where you could use your iframes yeah. coming back to the stage there. Yeah. Hits him with the punch, gets good, the side sink. Hey, make through. There. Yeah. Uh, this is a great start for Skeldra, and I think we're seeing that. Uh, yeah, the playstyle that Acto used against Knees, it's going to have to be quite different against Skeldra's caliber of great sword. Right. Unless he stays on sword the entire time, things are starting to look bad. Come on, Skeldra, you can you can throw it, <laughs> throw the weapon. Get get rid of it, please. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Good, good job by Acto, uh, trying to deny Skeldra the greatsword there. He did. He's succeeding so far. Look how much damage he's getting through. If he's got a brain, yeah, okay, there we go. He denies that. He throws those. He realizes that he doesn't need the bow at all. Oh, but that weapon spot's so fortunate for yeah. Skeldra. But maybe this works out. If Acto gets this knockout, not only does Skeldra lose this greatsword, he has sword coming up next. Mm -hmm. So that's that much longer that he has to play without the weapon of his choice. Oh, trying to read the dodge there. This could be big. Oh, with an air hit, Steelite Ground Pound comes through. That's huge. So that means Skeldra comes back to the stage, has to get past Akno's weapon starving, and then has to get a second weapon just to have a chance to get the greatsword. Akno may have brought this back. Yeah, he needs to press this advantage right now. But Skeldra is close to the Steelite recovery knockouts. Uh, oh. Ka Kaya needs a little bit more damage than that. Now it's okay. a lot closer. <gasps> Try to go for a second one. Acto didn't come close. Oh, the great sword's waiting, but Skeldra doesn't go to pick it up, and now Acto's on the bow. There's that's... the D-Light grab out again. Weapon throw hits, Acto's out of there. That's so interesting. Skeldra opted to just go unarmed combat versus picking up the, the great sword there, except at the very end to get the weapon toss. Yeah, that D-Light ground pound was like, Pixel perfect, too, to mm -hmm. be able to get that to spike and not bounce off the stage. Uh, Haymaker, there was a great call out. Holy cow. 132 unarmed damage to 164 sword damage. That's, uh, that's a lot of unarmed damage. Yeah. Uh, and and that, that stock was off the back of his uh, D-Light ground pound, unarmed. Um, okay. We're going into game number two. Akno still on the Kaya. We're going to... Well, what I consider to be a great sword runway stage. Yeah, this is an interesting pick from from uh, Akno here. I wonder what their um, logic for it is. We'll have to find out. We'll see if it leads into a victory. Because so far, Skeldra's having a comfortable start here. Yeah. Side light goes for the down sig. We're really hoping for a spot dodge read, I think. Okay, but manages to get Skeldra off the great sword. That's the name of the game at this tournament. Yeah, just keeping Skeldra uncomfortable there. Double D-Light in the side air. I'm surprised he didn't go for recovery. Probably wasn't going to knock out on its own. Nair pops him up, second Nair. Now a D-Light recovery could probably do it. Doesn't get it though, and Skeldra gets that dodge through, gets the uh, the reversal as well. Wow, great recovery through the edge of the stage there. That's going to be a knockout. Yeah, it's always interesting seeing those recoveries hit um, uh, from the side of the stage there, because you kind of, you have to have like, it's interesting. Oh. With Rahal, you have to have your character's line of sight for it to connect. 
so a move won't hit through the stage unless your head's like above the side of the stage. Mm, Gets yeah. the neutral signature there. Does get that hit, but not enough to knock out. That Nair's close. Okay. Tossing away the greatsword again. Tosses they're, away the spear. They're engaging in fisticuffs. Oh, and then he picks up the, the sword and Acto a, a, attacks with his own arm arm attack, spawning down with that side air. Can he get something? No, another recovery hits. He could go up three stocks to one at this rate. Wow. Nice yeah. enough. Sword's there, gonna take it, and now Skeldra back on his bread and butter. Yeah, great sword coming up here. Could, get, could be great, could be bad if he goes down this soon. Mm -hmm. Cider connects. Has to come back to the stage. No dodge. Doesn't get the uh, oh. the slide kick. They're both opting for the unarmed edge guards, <laughs> which I, I like a lot. Uh, and just forcing that dodge with the weapon for to be able to go for it. Oh no! Okay, down lane. Normally combos. Acto dropped that and got lucky that he hit it after. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, falling near so strong. Yeah, just covering that space in general. Especially when Skelter doesn't have a weapon to throw to interrupt the move. Down air into gravity cancel down does not connect. Akno doing even more now with the spear. Skelter looking a little lost in this this low percent neutral. But now, back on the Great Sword. Great Sword picked up, gets poked. Second poke does it not oh. hit, and the neutral signature comes through, falling there into Ensign again, and Akno's just dodging straight up out of all of it. Great dodges. It does seem like a Skeldra, like goes into a, okay, I'm going to go, it, it's like a neutral signature mode, mm -hmm. but like the next four openers he gets, he's gonna follow up with it, and Akno has been ready for every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Gravity Castle Delight Slider disarms him. He has to dodge out of the way of the weapon throw. Can he make it back? He can, wow. that's it. Yeah, it's an interesting little mix-up triangle there because Skeldra's doing the same thing, expecting um, expecting Akno to mix it up. But since Akno is keep dodging up, neither of them are requiring a mix-up. Um, it's, it's interesting how both of them are doing the same options, but it ends up working out better for Akno because the option that Akno is choosing is uh, defeats the, the neutral sig. Yeah, and even though all of those highlights were bow knockouts, Bo did less than 97 damage that came from Akno, over 440 damage coming out from the spear. So he really took advantage of that stage there. And now Three, we got to see why he two, picked it. One, and Skeldra uh, is actually going to be opting to go towards more platform heavy stages here as we go into Fortress of Lions. And Akno opens up right away with a solid three piece wow. combo. Great denial there immediately. Oh, almost tried to deny that one as well. Chase dodges through. Can't quite get any more than that. Mm -hmm. More anti airs coming out from Skeldra, which I think were working out for him pretty well in game one. Yeah, Chase dodges through. Silent doesn't go into end light finisher. Mm -hmm. Oh, Acto's trying to get started with the down light here, and Skeldra's got a lot of openings that are just not leading to much. Okay, that end stick does work out once, and he's not even worried about that being a powerful, like, heavy hitting finisher to where he gets a knockout with it. He's just going, like, I need to hit you with something. Oh, I, I thought he jumped into that. That was so scary. <laughs> Oh, nice call out from Akno. Yeah. This is big. Recovery coming out. Gets him off the top of the stage. What can Skeldra do? Sidelight finally dodges out of that. Goes for the weapon throw oh. to cover. His, uh, uh, that was interesting. I've yeah. never seen weapon throw straight up after a sidelight connecting. Um, but it worked out. Okay. Now he's on his knockout confirm weapon. That's true. What is he looking for here? D-Light Recovery, probably. D-Light like, Recovery. Yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking something tells me a D-Light Recovery is coming. Oh, but then he threw the weapon away, and now he's got a great sword coming up. He picks that up. He gets knocked out again. Acto's going to run away with the lead here, yeah. possibly taking a lead of the set as well. At this rate, finally gets nice. the light finisher. Good yeah. patience, too. Gets the poke with the sidelight opener, and then dashes and pivots right through to be able to get that end light finisher off mm -hmm. the top once he saw that Acto's dodge was gone. And now, mixing it up with an immediate end light finisher there at the end. Mm -hmm. Akno dodging in there instead of the up that was getting uh, him out of those combos before, which is, which is interesting. Oh, recovery just catches him. Okay. Wow. Baby sits him right back to the stage, make sure that he can't touch the ground again. Yeah, and Akno is looking very powerful in this elimination finals. Yeah, big uh, adaptation coming out from game number one. The spear is completely dominating the game. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the bow seems to be his knockout weapon of choice, but other than that, it's been mostly mostly spear damage here. And Skeldra struggling to get started on anything. He gets juggled up in the air. We, you and I kind of talked about, like, okay, what does the bow in this matchup have? Mm -hmm. uh, the down light for the reach, and then he's got the nair to be able to pop him up uh, to keep him from touching the ground again. What a dodge on that recovery there. And the down stick hits. Oh, this is bad. And stick hits. He's out of there. Acto relentless on that stock. Skeldra could not get a single hit in. 
Skeldra might pick Mako. I don't know. He wow. it's at this point where it's like when it's two to one and you're you're getting beat that badly. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yeah, so many callouts on the recovery. I, I, again, just all uh, reads in di disadvantage. Just reading that recovery. That I love this is, that. Dodge. This is crazy. Down sig, and then he waits it out, and then he gravity cancels the yeah. sig. So you don't get the full charge off of a gravity cancel uh, when using those moves in the air, but you get a little bit of a charge. You get enough charge to get some extra properties. So he was able to slide forward a little bit to get the right range that he wanted on that neutral signature to get that knockout, and it just was the perfect angle to take Skeldra out at orange. And now Skeldra has been Three, brought onto a two, character that I've not seen him play. This is Roland. It is, uh, we've seen two players lock in Sir Roland today, and that is more than I think I could say for all of the last two years of Brawlhalla. It is uh, a, a eight defense sword and lance character. Okay. And without great sword on the field, I don't really know how confident I am in Skeldra being able to take a stock. Wow. And I mean, Skeldra's doing pretty well with the lid so far, but this is, this is wild because we did not see Roland come out this entire tournament from Skeldra. Yeah. And he, in fact, I, I am baffled that he is not playing great sword right now. Yeah. Uh, what a what a statement to bring it out. The potentially your last game of the tournament. State, <laughs> statement or desperation. Depends on how you want to look at it. Yeah, Agno has been beating him pretty hard so far, and he's continuing to do so here. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine that like his sword prowess has changed from one no. character yeah. to the other. So So it really has to be the Lance that yeah. is the difference maker. Yeah, um, yeah. if Skeldra can get the 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 knockout here Ooh. with sword, it would be very good. But the throw extension there. There, looking for the side light, the double deal light, side light, waits for the dodge, waits for this landing. Uh, Ac oh, oh, Acto is, uh, oh no, that, whoa. Oh, I think that's just it. Zone? Yep, he gets the downer. The that's, that's the double this, snipe. This is about exactly as I thought this would go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'd be surprised if he takes a stock, to be honest, because it's like, oh no. All right. What could Skeldra do? Um, we we Lance have to see air, something. A lot. Okay, yeah, uh -oh. that is the Lance mo. But we have to see something wild. There's one side air. Down air can come through here. Okay. Throw out one roll. Oh, the downs to kids. Oh. He's got three stock him. Acno's going for it. The down air doesn't hit him. No. The stair hits him back at the side of the stage, and Acno I think doesn't have the way okay. back. Okay, gravity cancel. I'm like gets it, and that's the three stock avoided. But nice. We're still. Uh, uh, there's still the contention of the JV here. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, we, we can find out. Let's see if Skull gets a chance, yeah. okay? I like that. Gravity Castle Neutral Light. Weapon Throw Whoa. forces him to go on the stage. Whoa. Dive kick, D light, ground pound. Oh, no, he misses the misses. jump. Skeldra, that was almost the perfect zero to knock wow. out. He could still possibly get it. No. All weapons thrown aside. I only play unarmed. Skeldra almost brought it all the way back, but now they still have to get this knockout. I mean, he's, he's, okay. That's not great. That's not great. He was doing great until that moment hit. Side yeah. light, down light. D-Light, side air, unarmed, <laughs> ground pounds all the way to the bottom of the stage. Can he catch him there? Sword picked up. Okay, it's a, I don't think it's enough damage for D-Light recovery. That's yeah. it. Yeah. The and Mammoth Acto. brought out with the neutral signature there from Kaya means that Acto's going to win. Skeldra's pocket Roland. <laughs> His unarmed play was really fun. Yeah, wild that Skeldra's that good with unarmed. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it is the one thing that every character has. That's Same true. kit. You can't really, um, doesn't really change there.